Hello, I'm William Osman, and welcome to the second episode of Trash Flavor. Yay! <laughs> um, it's, it's our homage to an angry commenter who yep. started watching both of our podcasts. This is uh, Connor of um, Trash Taste. Hi. Uh, we are Garbage Flavor. Yeah. Just right now for this episode. Trash Flavor. Trash flavor. It's, it's evolving. Uh, <laughs> it's a zombie. Trash Taste, Garbage Flavor. Okay, yeah. I, do, I realized that the podcast you recorded is going to go up before our first one goes up. So they'll see this set and they'll be like, oh, wow. I did that, say, I did say it. Yeah, yeah. I told the story oh, about yeah. your equipment. <laughs> yeah. They'll be like, oh my God, you, you guys uh, recorded all your podcasts on the yeah. garbage flavor yeah. set. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> this is our set. <laughs> our garbage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for letting us use your uh, your guys' no, American setup. No, dude, you setup. saved our ass, dude. Okay. I'm excited to talk about uh, anime. We did. Sorry. So Alan <laughs> yes. is a weeb. I am a weeaboo. Are yes. you actually? Yes. yes. So, well, I've seen some of your stuff. I saw like your Rock Lee video where you put yes, on the weights. Yes, yes, and... I like the anime stuff and yeah. people like watching. Oh, fuck yeah, like, they love yeah. it. Yes. But the thing is like, um, like essentially once like the, the sort of like the big three kind of yeah. like finished, it's like, what was it, like uh, Naruto... Bleach. I guess and well, well, One Piece, but One Piece is still. One, well, oh yeah, One Piece. I, I still. <laughs> I the only way I'll ever get into One Piece mm. is if I am like um, doing one of those like astronaut challenges, you know, where they send someone to live like on their own <laughs> on like a Hawaiian volcano off. island, yeah, for six months. That's there's like there's over a thousand episodes of One Piece. Yeah. Would you go on a on a deserted island for five hundred thousand dollars a month, but you can't call anyone, but you still have the internet? And you can only watch One Piece. Yeah. So I think like the um the hot new thing is like Spy Family, right? Yeah, everyone's in Spy Family right now. I'm yeah. into that. Do you know that? I, I, no. I've been I catching up on it. It's like a very like wholesome kind of funny yeah. show where it's like it's a spy okay. and he gets a mission. It's a spy. Yeah. You won't he believe gets it. a mission where he okay. needs to form a family to like sneak into a place. Yeah. Um, it's but, crazy how that's a show. <laughs> it almost just sounds like some bullshit. What? <laughs> like that's like, like a, a story that you tell for like five minutes yeah well that's all all manga really because like the the way the manga is made is that they have to get everyone by the first chapter yeah right because that's how otherwise you get cut like yeah. if you don't get people in the first chapter or the first few weeks oh, it, you're done is that why there was like a string of like of like anime and manga where the titles were just ridiculously like long and over, I, I don't like, know what the fuck that is like, all about uh, my, <laughs> my boyfriend was a reincarnated slime monster but now I'm a vampire like. so the, those are from light novels and <laughs> but, that's another thing that Japan's obsessed with but yeah they're, they're so fucking mm. dumb they're like there's so many, and there's other ones where like they have, uh, they've like been translated into English, and they'll use the like word "so" twice in the same sentence. They're like, "So what? Oh. I'm a spider, something." I, I, the title is really weird. Like, there's a bunch of them like that. I don't know why. I don't know why they do this. Is it to just like try and like get people to understand the premise like it, right away? I think so. A bad translation. Uh, I, I'm not. I don't feel qualified enough saying that. <laughs> I, I think Joey might have uh, words to say about that, but I don't know. Yeah, I, people are obsessed with light novels in Japan. I don't know why. I don't, I don't really like them. Nigel, how much anime do you watch? I, just, I have a fundamental question. What's okay. on your? What's well, on? What's on? Small, wait, I, know, I, know, I have a question first. Question what the hell's first. on your finger? The sticker from the Starbucks. Card. Okay. What is the <laughs> fundamental question you're gonna ask? Me? Okay, this fundamental question. It goes, you know. Oh, no. It's why is anime hentai? <laughs> is hentai anime? All hentai is anime, but not all anime is hentai. But it's a lot of truth. truth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I watch so, one more than the other. <laughs> so I used to watch a bunch of anime when I was Caillou there. hentai. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Exclusively. <laughs> anime. Yeah. You used to watch a lot of anime as a kid. Okay. Yeah. Um, like Naruto. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. And like Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Um, I don't watch those shows, by the way. I, th yeah. I think I think Dragon Ball fucking sucks. Well, I haven't seen it. Like, Do you, you don't watch what about it? Dragon Ball Abridged? Oh yeah, yeah I, I like Dragon okay. Ball. Did you watch Rurouni Kenshin? Uh, I haven't watched that, but I know that. Um, Samurai X. <laughs> I, I know that the author had a very shady history. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know he, the uh, anime's gonna be good. Didn't, <laughs> didn't he turn out to like be a child diddler? Mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of weird fucked up shit. Either, either, uh, I, I, either so, I, I what's the anime about? Either it's about a swordsman that touches kids inappropriately. Glossing over that. Okay, okay, okay. So I haven't watched anime in a long time. So my my fundamental question. So many. Yep. is like why do you like for example when i watch anime yeah to me it's just no different than like a cartoon yeah so why is it that people are like 
anime, they're obsessed with just the style of the drawing, like, or of the mm. presentation. Because it's like, I don't go, yeah, like, I'm a big fan of live action movies. Like, why would I? That doesn't, that's not a thing. So it's like specifically anime. People are like, I'm into anime. And there's such a wide range of stories. Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't really make sense why it's just how it's drawn. I think the style is really appealing. I mean, you look yeah. at like Western cartoons and you do think like, holy fuck, this is the ugliest thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you put the best. If you watch Big Mouth, you see how no. fucking ugly Big Mouth is. No. <laughs> this, this show is the ugliest. Look big, at this Big shit. Math? A big Mouth big on Netflix. Mouth. Okay. It's like a, a, right. it's an adult cartoon and every fucking adult cartoon looks the same. It's like this most What's like, the, the difference horrible... between an adult cartoon and hentai? <laughs> <laughs> I think well, one's it's family, like family guy. Family Guy, right? And one like, yeah, like, stuff. I've the, seen every, this. Every show that's in like the Family Guy kind yeah. of like we're like very dark and we joke about not PC things and they all look horrible. Like they yeah. just yeah, look the worst. I feel like Family Guy kind of ruined like it ruined the Western animation aesthetic for like two decades. Basically, this, that's that's. It, this feels like ugly. an amalgamation it's, of like. It's just like nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, that's actually um, horrible. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I think it, this, people get into it for the style, but then I think there's just something about it that definitely appeals to like that 16 year old part of you where it's like yeah. I don't fit in in school, yeah. and this just kind of hits all the things that I like. And it's just perfectly tailored for like somebody who is just like, I just want this kind of story that I don't get anywhere yeah. else. Kind of makes me yeah. think of like Adult Swim or like just a bunch yeah. of weird kind of like stoner shows yeah. where like everybody who works on any of them is like doing drugs. <laughs> they're kind of just making weird stuff. But in Japan, it's like they're just they're like super overworked and depressed. And this yeah. is the show they come up with out of that kind of thing. I don't know. Like what's your, some of your favorite anime? I will say this now. There's a big meme on Trash Taste and all this that we don't actually watch yeah. anime anymore. Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, who has the time right. yeah I'm, I'm too many talking actually, about anime actually yeah, exactly. that, okay so i've seen we talked a little bit about it yeah there is this thing on youtube oh yeah 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 I know there are know. channels that are like summarizing anime like entire seasons mm -hmm. in like 10 to 20 minutes and oh. it's all ai voices yeah they do this with movies as well like i think xqc watches them all yeah. live all the time and it's like Though it's not the content that's bizarre, it's the frequency that they're uploading and the number of channels and how frequently new channels like it's like I saw one yesterday that was like Annie P yeah. or Anime Recaps or Annie Recap. And there's like 30 of these channels. I swear to God, they keep popping up and up. And it's I don't know how they're getting away with it. I, I don't know. It's weird because like Japanese companies are really, really protective of the IPs. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they just don't give a fuck about what's going on outside of Japan. Really? And then sometimes they really care. So it's totally like, you know, you've, I think uh, there was that, uh, what's his name? The guy who got his whole channel taken down by like oh, Toei. Yeah, right, yeah, uh, yeah. Totally not Mark. Oh, yeah. You know, like he got his whole channel taken down. They threatened to sue him. But then other people are, like you said, uploading the whole fucking episodes, right. the whole anime, and suddenly people don't care. Right. It, it kind of depends on whether the Japanese company has like a content ID uh, partner that they're going after mm. and if they care. I don't know. Some, sometimes some, some, someone must tell them, be like, hey, you guys uh, know you can make money, right? Right. From claiming these people right. in other countries, right? And they're like, what the fuck? We can do that? <laughs> money. I, a, a lot of, like, what the thing I don't understand is there's a lot of, like, uh, older anime yeah. that you can't even watch. Oh, yeah. They're not on any streaming service. Yes. You and can't it's like, buy them. Am I supposed to go on. Amazon and buy. I, yes. I, I don't. I don't own a DVD player. Yeah. And buy a DVD yeah. and then buy a DVD player to watch this. Yes. Well, you know. Yes. yes. So no, no. But it's not. Even, sorry, it's not even just buying the DVD player. They're region locked. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you can't. You have to literally buy a Japanese <laughs> DVD player. Yeah. There's a lot of them that don't even leave Japan. Wow. It doesn't really happen now because every company under the sun wants to get the licenses. Yeah. Yeah. But like even Galleon, right? The one of the most yeah. popular shows wasn't on any streaming service. Yeah. Until like four or five years ago, I mm -hmm. think it was like locked in. Like yeah. no one could get it. They yeah. didn't, the Japanese companies just didn't trust anyone. And the only way you could get it was getting the old like DVDs. Right. That was the only legal way to get it in English. Right. Every other way, everyone everyone was pirating. Yeah. It's funny how it was, slow that like whole industry has moved. Because I remember hearing like yeah. at anime conventions when I was younger from like you know like older fans mm. kind of reminiscing about like in like oh yeah like 1994 the only way to watch Evangelion was on VHS. VHS. You'd have to share them around. Yeah, right? you'd have yeah. to like literally have a physical copy that like the community would yep. actually share like yep. the sisterhood of traveling pants. <laughs> it's fucking like, weird. I don't know. the one VHS. And it, you'd have to hope some guy subtitled it. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And it was like a nightmare. It's like that was 
what 30 years ago and yeah. it's still like just a little better well, yeah, when i got into anime it was like you'd go on youtube and you'd be part one of three espanol yeah. <laughs> like, and, you'd have to, yeah. and then you couldn't find part two of three and you're like fuck i gotta I, know what happens i watched something recently actually kevin downloaded it for me because i like i haven't done any piracy stuff in a long time yeah. and so i just like i don't i'm not Wait, you, know you haven't had to do it in like for 10 years yeah, yeah. exactly because yeah. it's like you've pretty much been able to watch anything you want to watch yeah. by finding on a streaming service and paying yeah. for it but I feel when like it's getting just overall yeah, now it's going it's back worse. <laughs> yes like and some movies just don't exist on anything there was a sh there was this like it was a three episode movie where yeah. it's like a movie with three shorts in it from like the 90s or late 80s oh, wow. one was I, I can't remember one is like there's like a um, the short is like it's like stink bomb or something. Huh. And the guy works at a medical facility. He like has yeah. a headache, so he takes a pill, and the pill yeah. turns him into just like this human weapon that's just oh, like wow. emitting gases, like killing it. Sounds fucking awesome. It's a very it's it, and it like the animation is like it's like I love like oh, the 90s old, OVAs. Yes. They were insane. Like, nobody does it, and it, I'm assuming it's just because it's expensive. But like it's yeah. beautiful. And so there's three shorts. Two of them are really good. I think the third one is sort of okay. The other one is like these uh, like space junk collectors that take like a um, an SOS call. So they go to this thing. Yeah. And it's like this weird like giant spaceship that's like dilapidated that was sort of built oh. to. Oh, I think I remember seeing this collection of shorts on something streaming like this a few years ago. Awesome. It's really good. I should figure out what the name yeah, of it what was. It is. Um, but had to be pirated. Yeah. So Kevin downloaded it. Didn't have subtitles. So I had to go find subtitles and then link them to it. Oh, like the import the subtitles? Yes. To it. Oh my God. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like, I would have, even on Amazon, like, I would have paid five yeah. bucks to watch this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why was the only way? I don't even think I could have bought a DVD. Like, it was, it actually was impossible. Yeah. I, I think it's like before the 90s, they just didn't bring it over. Because some guy had to go to Japan and be like, mm -hmm. hey, I have an idea. Let's, let me have your property, which you're really right. protective about trust me to not fuck it up and they did fuck it up because like right. four kids right they changed oh, everything yeah, in like yeah, yeah. one piece mm. and, and so that's probably scared a lot of people as well because it would actually not even just change like the lines they would physically change the stuff in the show mm. like in one piece there was like weapons and they would change them like squirt guns uh, and stuff yeah. and then Pokemon they changed I remember being so confused as a kid because in Pokemon they had the the onigiri, the rice balls. And they they'd always call them donuts. Jelly, jelly donuts. They'd always call them like jelly donuts in this? the dub, and it just yeah. never yeah. made any. they were yeah. like, yeah. who <laughs> kind of like the localization team for that? Who thought that like, oh yeah, this is a donut? You, you know what's bad? I can't. So I grew up in like a small town in the middle of fucking nowhere in Wales, uh -huh. and uh, to me, I was like, yeah, that's okay. a donut. Because <laughs> to me, it's like, what I is culture? Thought, what I is never, culture? <laughs> I never thought anything of it. Really? I think, oh I think that sort of like I set never, me up I with some weird that. expectation of like expecting those to be like sweet <laughs> instead of savory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's so like rice ball so or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like usually it has like, you know, like tuna in it. It could have just like, said rice ball. Yeah. No, I, that would have been too crazy. Kids wouldn't have understood that. Uh, <laughs> nice <laughs> in a ball? Get the fuck out of here. The, the name of the shorts compilation is Memories. Memories from oh, 1995. Wow. I've, I've never heard of this. I maybe Gaunt or Jerry would know. I'm like out of the podcast. I'm the least knowledgeable about that. Really? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm like the most. I saw it somewhere. Yeah. Like either Reddit or like sometimes what I'll do is like if I watch something that I like, yeah. I'll then go find. Uh, I'll go to the director or creator's like Wikipedia yeah. page and then go through their other stuff. Look what else they've like done. we found a show. I think after Evangelion, we, uh, we I found a show called uh, like The Secret of Blue Water, mm. and it's it's really funny. Because you can look at this, this like artist or this writer's like creative history, yeah. and they're all kind of stuck on like one idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people and like rehash the same idea. Yes, right? it's almost and, like and every show perfectly. they make is like it's kind of the same prototype being reiterated, and then you yeah. end up at like Evangelion, and then you look after it, and it's like they kind of just get stuck on that arc with yeah. that type of like. It, yeah. it, there's a I think um, I forget the director's name, but uh, they did the. Digimon movie. Well, I mean, it's kind of a mess between mm. like the North American version and the actual Japanese version. Yeah. But they also did some work on uh, an anime movie called The Girl Who Left Through Time and one called Summer Wars. Oh, uh, and so. Is it Mamoru Hosoda? I don't it, remember. It, it but it it's it's funny because between all of those shows or all those all those movies, it's there's like this one particular aesthetic weird thing where it's like this big wide open space mm. with like you know it's some kind of like internet representation right like this is the world wide web it's a big white space <sighs> yeah. there's avatars and gears the, everywhere and that same imagery is the same throughout all three of those movies have you watched his newest movie i uh, haven't Bell. actually 
Uh, it's no, fucking, no, no, it no, fucking sucks. Does it it's, all? It's the same does, shit again. Does it have it's a big a, white open space yeah, with because, avatars yeah, yeah, on the internet? Yeah. It's, it's about oh, she's she's online and she's a singer, but in real life she's not. And it, it, it fucking. Well, oh, it sucks. They, do they just like one sucks and they're like, I'm gonna get it this time. <laughs> I, th- I think there's something like that. And then it's they, like, get, <laughs> they get a hit and they're like. I can do it again. Because the other ones are good. Summer Wars is good. Summer Wars through time is yeah. good. I, I think I, I don't know why he's making the same fucking movie over there. <laughs> I, I think my, my guess is like a couple of things. Like one, you just get lucky. So like one, there's yeah. just like this perfect amalgamation of talent yeah. that makes it, uh, something come out good. The other could be sort of maybe some Star Wars shit where you've got like uh, the instant yeah. a director kind of gets too famous, they sort of get too much authority yeah. and that authority creates Someone worse needs content. To them back. Right. Yeah. Because really what made the first ones good, it was the team effort and people oh. restricting them and they kind of then their stuff is I, sort of like my farts mm, smell good there's yeah. there's an interesting interview with yeah. uh the the guy who wrote um back to the future what the hell was his name oh um i don't remember was that on like the 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 movies that made us like yeah the, the, the netflix stuff? oh yeah, yeah they I, were I, talking I about the end scene being like to get back to get the energy to go back was from a nuclear bomb and oh, so they I had to build that. like a nuclear they had to do the tower the drop mm, test yeah. they had to build the town and they didn't have the budget for it, so mm-hmm. they had to like cut you know so much money off the movie, and they ended up just doing the lightning strike. And it's like if you think about it, it probably is like a better and more like yeah. obtainable solution. Mm-hmm. It creates like a more realistic yeah. solution, and like it forced these guys to figure out how would you do it more grungy, which mm-hmm. ironically is literally Doc Brown trying to be more grungy to yeah. figure out. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like it just it it inherently it yeah. makes it yeah. better. I guess it's like a Kojima, right, with Death Stranding. Oh, Everyone's yeah. kind of like, maybe someone should have told him, yes. maybe don't do this. No, <laughs> no, I love Death Stranding. No, I'm off. trying to buy and a Alan PS5 got a right out. now. You got, you got yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, replied, um, from right. um, Norman Reedus and uh, no, Kojima. Yeah. yeah, they retweeted because and I built a treadmill that like could play Death Stranding, like the, instead oh, of the PS4 you controller, run yeah, so you, you have, have to walk, walk on the fuck. treadmill. I haven't seen that video. And it, it just it was suffering because you yeah, tried it. I you were there. You didn't even. Did you try to forget? I no. didn't. You, you didn't put me in your video. I was cut. All right, because well, you <laughs> fell asleep while we were playing. After I was it. so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I think I love Death Stranding. I am a fan because it just like I think there should be you more have things. Weird ta- you have trash taste. There should be more <laughs> things that don't make any fucking sense. I, yeah, I, I think for me, as somebody who fucking hates cutscenes in a video game, I'm like this <laughs> is. I, this I remember is, us it's a having big to sit for like twenty minutes. This is just like, suffering. The last cutscene. one is like two hours, right? It's, <laughs> it's like, like an hour and a half. I definitely at one point watched cutscene? all the cutscenes for like Starcraft and like that was the best part was the cutscenes. And I would use cheats to get through the game. Just, <laughs> You're just watching a show. Actually, I skip all point. the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, you skip everything as well? Yeah. I skip like, every cutscene. The thing that makes no sense to me is people who even follow the story in games. Like, for some of them. <laughs> you yes, know what? Wait, yes, what, yes. What, like, you never played a game where you like engage with the story like ever? I, fucking, no, like, I just go right through it's it. It's the like weirdest thing. Roll. Like If you ever play League of Legends and stuff, yeah. I've talked to people who are like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, this guy, he's like this guy's brother because I've been reading. I'm like, why do you even, I just, <laughs> like, 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 why do you care? What about like Portal where it's really built into the game? I just, I, 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 like, I just, possible yeah, cut I like no, the puzzles. You but there are no cutscenes. Well, yeah, so. well, well I, I, I don't, there's like a, when, when the like girl's talking, yeah, I can't I, go to the bathroom. Just fucking clock out and just get through it. I, like even I'm, like man, you're the same as me. But the this problem is, is I it, it has messed up some games because yeah. even in the scenes where they explain how the game works, I skip that. I played I played Mass Effect years ago. <laughs> and I couldn't beat the final boss. Okay. I was having a really hard time beating him. And then I looked up how to beat him, and these people were like, Oh, it's really good to use these two like skills. And I went, um, you know, skills. I, <laughs> and then I told them my brother, he goes, That's like literally the point of the game oh my god i didn't even look through the menus i skipped everything i, I have a perfect and you know what you, you know what i enjoyed the fortnite. game fortnite solitaire fortnite <laughs> you skip everything or solitaire it's just shooting it's no just... my friend zach he'll go yeah you know there's like the new season we're finally gonna see this character i'm like who is that why do you even know this? It's like the opposite Just of saying that you uh, only read Playboy for the articles. You're like, oh yeah, I only read it for the porn. <laughs> I only read Playboy for the boobs. 
At least you're being honest. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I skip no, everything. I get invested in games. Uh, the two games that have, like messed me up the most, just like psychologically, <laughs> yeah. have been Minesweeper un- and Tetris. Yeah, yeah. Minesweeper and Tetris. Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Melee. <laughs> um, uh, Undertale. I love that. And uh, Nier Automata. Why would you love Undertale though if you're not okay. paying attention that, to the story? That was one where I like went through it, and I, I really enjoyed the genocide part where you had to do all the fucking. <laughs> I loved the have like DDR. You have a genocide path. I couldn't. I because couldn't. because what I, is Undertale. It's yeah. a game that you would not enjoy, not Nigel. Not not watch cutscenes. He's, uh, this I is, skip entire this games. Like, <laughs> you, you don't know what Undertale is? I've heard of it, I think. What the, the young, fuck? The youngest boomer I've ever met. <laughs> How are you unaware of what Undertale That's is? That's wild. You know, on 2015, like, 16 on YouTube, it was fucking inescapable. It was all yeah. Undertale. It was fucking everywhere. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> What's the thing? I'm a boomer. <laughs> 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 Uh, he's, there's no thing. <laughs> he thought he was gonna come up with something by the time that sentence he didn't. I do that I, all the time. I, I um, I did other things. Yeah, fair enough. You had a life. Clearly, I I, I didn't, didn't have a life. I I just didn't have a life in a different way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Did you then? Did you like go up to play the game again? Like, but can you tell me what Undertale path? is? I think I've seen. I think I've seen it. I just how don't do know. you? How would you? I don't even know like how to fucking explain like, this It's game. like very black and white, simple cartoon art. Kind of looks like an old school game. It's like I, skeleton. It's kind of RPG bullet hell, and it's like um, you are uh, you you fall into the underworld, and yeah. it's a world of kind of like monsters well, and stuff, and y- yeah. you interact with them. I I'm, I don't even know how. I think I, I stream a lot of games, and uh-huh. I think. Streaming is good because it forces me not to skip them because people get pissed off. Oh, they yeah. get fucking pissed. They never even heard of this. And they start charging. And, 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 and I'll be like, <laughs> back and and I, I, I'll, I'll be like, fuck, I, I, I didn't mean to skip that. I just fucking, uh, I just fucking pressed it. I just, so it's like, like a fucking only freak. there's a financial incentive for you to not <laughs> yeah, skip. That. Exactly. Like like, you'd have to get paid I, to play a video game I, I, I played a Metal Gear uh, Revengeance. Uh, for the first time. I don't know that one. Uh, that's the Kojima game where it's just all the memes with the. Oh, wait, is that the one where it's like you don't even play a snake? You're like, yeah, the you new play guy? as Sir Biden. Okay, okay, okay. And you literally just like, that's where all the memes are coming from right, right now, where right, the guy's right. like fucking punching the guy. <laughs> and then it's like nano machines and all that shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. But that's like, it's a movie. And then you occasionally press <laughs> stuff. Like, you occasionally, because it's Kojima. Right. It's, it's just five hours of like in stupid cutscenes, and then occasionally you fucking spam X. Sounds like the guy just wants to make movies. He's, yeah. He does. I don't know, but I guess he just doesn't want to deal with like physical acting and stuff. Well, that just... makes sense because he's friends with like Guillermo del Toro and Norman yeah. Reedus, and he has like a bunch of actual actors in Death Stranding. That makes yeah. sense. Why don't you just make animated movies? Maybe he's, maybe he's just know. like, I don't know, the video games are just an easier... Like, they don't have to be as good if they're video games. <laughs> you know? I, I don't know. I think there's yes. something about the medium game, uh, the uh, video game medium that he really enjoys. I just can't figure it out. No. I, I don't know what that is. I, I think he likes, he likes, the, he likes the cutscene aspect. I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> pissing me off with these fucking cutscenes. That was the thing about, like, uh, the Kojima Twitter account retweeted uh, my video... But I, in my video, I say in the introduction that Death Stranding is objectively a bad game. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, wait, no, did he see that part? <laughs> That's their fault. I hope he skipped ahead. I hope he skipped ahead. I mean, probably didn't. <laughs> no way. So. Well, here's the thing. It is yeah. bad. But I think it's bad in a very healthy way. What does that like, mean? I think it's bad in a way that like video games should, or like all media, it's should, doing something different. Should occasionally be bad in that way. I think it's, okay. the, it's healthy to have that. So I have another question. What do you guys like about video games? I'm asking this because I've just come to realize I don't think I. I just like good gameplay loops. I like the yeah. learning to do something and feeling very satisfied from doing it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. What do you, do you mean by what that? do you play right now? Right now, what am I playing? Fuck, what am I playing right now? <laughs> I've played a lot of Apex. Okay. I'm kind of addicted to Warzone. Apex. I don't like Warzone. Hmm. It's just like, it looks like Apex, but worse. No, Warzone, Warzone's... I'm pretty sure Apex yeah. is like Warzone, but worse. What the fuck? <laughs> do, do you play League? Uh, yeah, I played League religiously for like six years. And then um, you, you quit. And then I kind of realized it was uh, ruining my life. And, yeah, uh, that's and the cycle. And you just lose like three hours. You're just like, oh, I'm just gonna play a game. I, I don't, I don't want to work on this video right now. I'm, and then you play three hours, and you're miserable because you played League, and it was shit. <laughs> so okay, I, I have a, I, I want to talk about um, subs versus dubs. Okay, yeah. Because I have uh, subs. It, I, the other, the other, dubs are good now. <laughs> the dubs, other opinion's wrong. No, we this argument would have made sense twenty I years ago. Off, dubs are good now. No, they're not. I actually, good now. Okay. I, th- I, I think subs. So yeah, I'm, I'm not like. Uh, I'm not. I have an argument for that. I okay. say dubs because I'm not good at reading. 
So dubs. It's true. Yeah. Uh, Who has the time for that? I, I, I can appreciate that. I think that's a completely valid way of being like, <laughs> I want to watch anime and I don't want to have to look at the fucking screen 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> you said that you think dubs are good now. I actually dubs think... Are good now. I think dubs were at their best in like 2008, around that period. You th they peaked? Do you think they peaked? I think that's when they were at their best. I think standards might have just gotten Because worse. what's happened now is that dubs are now on like a fast track. It's like... Ejecting as quickly as possible. You, you, uh. the, the writer gets 48 hours to make a script. He gets paid less. And then the voice actors get paid less. And they're like, you need to do it right fucking now. And they, and they, uh. they, they use... Um, it's like... Back then, it was like they had a lot more time to do casting and yeah. get the right people. And the writers actually had a, like, like multiple weeks. Normally, like four weeks to make mm -hmm. a script. And it would, it would be a lot longer. Like, uh, have you ever watched... Uh, uh, Bacano or uh, a little bit, yeah, Cowboy yeah, yeah. Bebop or Cowboy any of the, yeah. the yeah, great yeah, yeah. dubs. No one talks about great dubs that came out like right. now, mm -hmm. right? It's all from like back then when they had way more time to work on it and, and they would get more money because you could sell the DVDs. Mm. Now it's like you have to just kind of shove these dubs out right. as fast oh, so as possible. It's probably because uh, like Crunchyroll do like a simulcast, right? Yeah, so like I, the I, Japanese and the English. Yeah, so I, I've, I've voiced in some of the, the English dubs for Crunchyroll. Oh, cool. And so you, you're saying you're not good. No, I... <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I so I know for personal reasons. You say you didn't have enough time. I, I, I'm saying that... The dubs now, because back then as well, they wouldn't dub every show. It was like I, only the good shows would like the shows that would make money. Would get yeah. Well, I would say too, like even the ones like as a kid when I watched it all. Like I mean, you say you didn't like Dragon Ball Z, yeah. but like Pokemon, it was, they were good dubs. Good dubs. It's like there wasn't eight thousand shows on TV. It's whichever ones were good enough to make yeah. it to America. Pokemon has an amazing dub, and then mm. amazing. I also think that Pokemon has like a, a huge financial model outside oh, yeah. of the show. Yeah. The oh, yeah, show yeah, yeah. is the show that, needs to like get kids attached to it, and kids yeah. are not going to watch it. But I'm so. saying like, show that might be the point is like the ones that got dubbed, they knew were going to be super popular. So oh, there's yeah. lots of yeah. money to pour into yeah. it. Whereas now they're like, it's kind of like on YouTube. You're like my channel's doing pretty well. Uh, I'll yeah. just give it some Spanish sub, some Spanish they, dubs. They, it's like, who cares? Yeah, they... they <laughs> I, I've spoke to a lot of voice actors and writers as well from back then as well. And I, they would also tell me like, um, you know, they knew which shows were going to be the big shows. Yeah. Right. So they could they could allocate enough resources mm. if they knew the show was going to mm. be a big fucking deal. And they're like, all right, we have to bring our A game for this one. we got to bring everyone out. And now it's kind of like, we have no fucking clue which shows are the big shows. Just right. shock and method. So it's just keep right. fucking right. everything, every license that Netflix get, dub. You know, every license license uh, control gets make a dub watching some of those youtube recaps like 10 yeah. 20 minute recaps yeah. it feels you start to notice a lot of patterns oh yeah because yeah, yeah like yeah. watching a show can take you know like a couple of days or a yeah. couple of weeks depending on how quickly yeah. you watch it and so you don't necessarily get to consume a whole lot of stuff but yeah. when you can sort of see a condensed version you start to notice that like a lot of shows are like the exact oh yeah yeah same tropes where it's like mm -hmm. the young boy oh yeah like a lot of them start like they start in japan like it's a boy in japan and or a man in japan they get transported to another world like yeah. oh, i have uh, seen so many and then, and then you never ever go back to japan <laughs> and yeah, it's like yeah. why yeah they, yeah they completely forget that they that was the whole yeah. purpose of the journey is to go back and they're like, like oh i'm just actually just i, the, I, I love the big the titty fact that there's more than like <laughs> i'm yeah. saying the fact that there's more than one of those is like insane to me it's like, yeah, what isekai was... yeah it's a whole genre isekai just means like another world in japanese yeah. and it's like a whole fucking you get killed by truck oh yeah isekai yeah that's the, meme, into right? the big titty right? elf world and you don't ever go it's back. like it's like there's also a lot of like um polygamy is that like multiple? Oh, harem, oh, harem, harem. Yeah, polygamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> polygamy. They don't fuck. It's, they, it's they anime. Oh, it's anime. Oh, yeah. that's and it's like you're like, what? Why is this such a common? Because it's a guy fantasy yeah. to have yeah. eight it, beautiful women. That's what, it feels like of... a lot of like vicarious lifestyles. Oh, there's people a lot of like living a stuff. life that's bad being presented with an opportunity to sort of escape that in imagining yeah uh, oh i've got so many fucking rants about this i, I, I <laughs> because like yes, let's do another one you you watch it and you're like this is just plain and simple a lot yeah. of the time it's just like an incels fantasy yeah it's like a and weird like, fan service thing. it's like a self-serving i just yeah. want to do it and you know sometimes it's done really well and there are some of those shows that are fucking amazing yeah. but there's so many that are the same shit mm. just rehashed and like uh, the, the anime boobs uh, yeah, yeah, and the boobs, obviously. Yeah, actually, one, one, of, yeah, one like, of the one it, of the it's like it's comically bad. Like I saw something <laughs> last night. Good. Like, it's comically like, so it, it, good. Like comically so good. I, like, I don't know how to describe it other than like. Dude, that's some that's some that's some hentai there that are animated. Ooh, and, uh, look at that. What's up? We're gonna need to mosaic like, this. Make sure like, this gets like mosaic. somebody sat down. Yeah. With a piece of paper and a pen or a yeah. tablet and. <laughs> 
and they 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 drew yeah. that, and then they drew the head smaller. So yeah. it's, it's, yes. it's uh, yes. I, 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 we had um we had a hentai author on our show uh, a few weeks ago. And I asked him, I was like, I think we asked him, like, why, why is it like always just so fucking like comically yeah. large? And he was like, it's just a fantasy. It's just like, that's just how they want to draw it. And that's how they like it. I, I, is that, does that justify it? I don't know. It's just how, kind of how it's evolved, weirdly. Do you think Michael Bay likes doing the Transformers movies? Like he likes the explosions and he, or he likes the robots? What do you mean? Like the last three Transformers movies were like for, made for China. But I what feel like, think? I feel like drawing... The, making the drawings like that is like a personal choice. Yeah, probably. Probably. Like, I feel like Michael Bay is just making a movie, whereas the artists are sort of like it's a little bit of like uh, something for themselves. I, like so they, did, did, did you know? I, I have a huge, huge, huge amount of respect and admiration for anyone who draws cartoon porn, because um, yes, this is. I don't think probably, probably <laughs> this is real say. shit. So this basically, is. in college. Um, me and one of my friends through like a series of just like coincidental sort of like us putting information together yeah. figured out that our third friend was secretly drawing furry porn on the internet That's a good way to make a living. That's yeah, yeah, because people pay like a lot. Furries pay a lot. It's special. It's a niche. Um, and so like we're just like I was like going through like his secret Tumblr yeah. and sort of the whole time putting together this timeline of when we knew him and we knew like he had done like cartoons. Why are you doing this the... whole investigative? Yeah, this poor friend. Well, because, because it wasn't on purpose, right? We were just, just sort of like accidentally. News music, music playing in the background. Yeah, because we PM. figured out like, like we were like, oh yeah, like he uses this tag when he's playing Smash Brothers. Investigative journalism, name, Alan. Like, on oh. Deviant Art. And so was, this whole cross-referencing thing, thing where we found his secret Tumblr and he was like actively... Sort of like 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 making posts where he was drawing like you know a wolf covered in semen or whatever wolf man oh, yeah. semen. and he would just say like like referencing like one of his favorite artists and be yeah. like yeah like like oh one day I want to be able to make my semen look as good as this guy's semen. Um, Wait, what? Well, because it's like cause there's a community. They have a community where they draw this porn and like some no, of them are like, like this is a video idea. I can, some of them are if really I made good. And they have <laughs> fun right now. Like they have heroes, and this whole time I was just thinking like like. You know, he had this secret. He he like used to uh, illustrate for the school newspaper. He like he had a this was this is a this was a big one. But yeah. he used to have a hard drive that was just labeled secret pornography. How do you know, know this? You know, because like, like sometimes we would like like it was when my other this is part of what we put together. My other friend was trying to like get a file from him, and he was like, oh yeah yeah, it's uh it's in this it's in like D drive. Don't go to secret pornography. And we had a laugh like, oh ha ha. He has. So it turned out it was actually secret pornography was hidden in plain sight because. So you see that you assume it's a joke, oh but it must God. have actually been. But think about like <laughs> the dedication that you need to do. Like he didn't tell his family, he didn't tell his friends. This entire time mm -hmm. he's making an income with this like double life, and he yeah. is like aspiring to be better than he is. Like he's looking at his heroes who draw mm. semen, and he's like, one day I want to draw semen as good as this guy. This is like well, quite what, literally what, what the internet what, was built for. Yeah. What is like the the, the <laughs> I can see the cogs turning. <laughs> <laughs> like you see you see man. some semen. Yeah. And you see. go, man, like I wanna like why what is the skill to gain? Well, cause it's like the translucence, the consistency. You have <laughs> the to draw viscosity. that. Think you have about to draw it. by how would you draw a puddle of semen right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I a white crayon. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I think it would take a lot of skill to draw good semen. Okay. <laughs> You know that funny. It's completely unrelated to the semen. Uh, there's actually so much Transformers pornography in Japan. <laughs> they have doujins. It's a really big culture of making like fan, and they sell it in stores. You're, for some reason, weird, weird uh, gray market where for, the publishers don't care. But you're allowed to make your own porn of something, publish it, and then sell it in the stores next, to, like the official stuff. It's parody, right? Yeah, something um, like that. Japan, Japan doesn't have parody laws. Oh, it's just, they, they don't. Just have porn. But for some reason, porn is like. Well, okay, well, we'll let it go. And for some Nobody reason, there's so much like that. transformer oh, pornography. There's really? so much of it. So is it just motor oil then instead I, of... I, yeah, maybe like Bumblebee getting like railed uh, by a train, maybe. I don't know. Right. The Windshield entire wiper train. fluid. Uh, yeah, I... I well, because Bumblebee pisses in the movie. <laughs> Bumblebee pisses in the movie, right? A train. So they just, they just got build off that. Uh, Ian, where are the odds this is monetized? Zero. If He's anyone ever, zero. if anyone saw an ad during this video, leave a comment <laughs> telling us what the Damn ad it. was it's for. for donation. That's so I just, I, I feel like it's just to be that to me is like the greatest hardship that a person can endure is secretly drawing oh, yeah. furry porn and not telling anyone. 
That's yeah. That is the greatest yeah. hardship. That, that is, there is no bigger a, hardship. I can't that's, think of a worse thing. I, I would. I'd rather. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say. I, you know what? No. So well, I, I have I have a lot of. I played League of Legends on the Japanese server. So I've, I've experienced. Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> I've re- no, just you played League of Legends. I just played League of Legends. Yeah, that is. That's I, you could have could have been worse. Could have played Heroes of the Storm. Remember that game? Remember that? <laughs> I, <laughs> no. I never played that. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> Awful game. Awful game. <laughs> what do you think about uh, My Hero Academia? <sighs> it used to be better, is what I'd say. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, season one was pretty hype, and everyone was yeah. kind of excited that it, there was like a new kind of shonen. Uh, and I, I know, I know every, everyone, everyone always complains when I say this, but I fucking got so bored. They just don't fucking do anything. Mm. They just stay in school. I know it's called My Hero Academia. Yeah. I get that. Mm. But, but like, could they please just like make something happen? They're, they're starting to enter like South Park territory where the kids have been in the in same school, Yeah. Yeah. I, I know this, the story goes on. The manga got better, but season three was so boring to me. Yeah. That I was just like, I'm done. Yeah, like I'm the done. non-filler yeah. episodes were filler episodes. Yeah, and they had, uh, even though they had like a, a, have you watched all of it? Uh, no. It, I mean, it was season three. They brought, brought in this new villain, and it was really underwhelming. And they yeah, beat him, yeah. and it was over really quick. And you're like, I think what? for me, I mean, I don't know. Do we care about spoilers at all? If you want to watch my hero, I guess stop watching this. Yeah, all the twelve year olds watching this watch that watch care about my hero. Again. But like, I think the first season, it's there's you've got such a great premise with uh, Midoriya because he sort of has these powers that yeah. like aren't his, right? It's yeah, like yeah, that was like, cool. That was he, cool. Yeah, yeah. He's like he's like this hero who always wanted to be one. He couldn't, but then he gets this opportunity. Like the underdog story. He's he's this total yeah. underdog, and on top of it all, like he can't even use the powers very well. So every time he mm. uses his powers, like his limbs break. Yeah, it was awesome. But he's got the dedication where he's like, I'm still gonna fucking try, even though when I do this, like my hand fucking explodes, <laughs> you know. But then, like, once you get over that in the first season, it's kind of like, uh, I feel like it's like once, because he went from being the underdog to now he has multiple powers. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, yeah. It's kind of the power over. scaling thing. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, uh, I, I kind of wish he was just shitty the entire time. It's, yeah, it's also well, way, is, it's, for different yeah. <laughs> it's, it's more boring than what other shonens are doing as well right now. Like right. Jujutsu Kaisen. It's right, like yeah, a lot yeah. darker yeah. and it's a lot more adult, even though, I mean, it's still geared towards teenagers, but... It's just kind of my hero with better animation, mm-hmm. cooler story, cooler characters, and the, people actually fucking die. Yeah. Uh, in my hero academia, mm-hmm. people just get maimed, and then yeah, they're like, right. "Oh, just, just oh, me. I'm yeah, just fine. yeah." But uh, we, it's when it's a show where oh my god, there's so much on the line, and then right. no one is dying. Right. It's like, yeah. right. but I thought everything was on the line. Like, yeah. have you ever read uh, my hero uh, vigilantes? I've heard that it's good. What is that? Uh, it's so there's, it's about there's the villains, a spin-off right? yeah. manga. That is, I think, better than My Hero <laughs> proper because it's it's about vigilantes. Because okay. in the world of My Hero Academia, yeah. like you need a hero license to do your hero work, yeah. and people who don't are vigilantes, and so they're criminals. Mm. But the the that side manga is about like it's almost like mm. season one where yeah. it's this hero who has shitty powers. He's called the Crawler, so his power is he can glide on surfaces, <laughs> but he just he finds ways like a dog really. scooting across yeah, carpet. Yeah, but like like frictionless. But okay. he finds ways to like utilize his power creatively. Yeah, and so by the end of Vigilantes, he his power hasn't gotten better. He's gotten better at using yeah. it. Right, and so it feels earned when he's like taking down like a big bad guy because yeah. it's still the same shitty power fundamentally. Yeah, whereas like Midori at this point. He just he's figured like, out how to not break his arm. Midori yeah, is just yeah. oh he's he's OP and now he's just trying to get the yeah. use yeah. it and I, I so don't vigilante know. somehow I think is like I'd say it's worth a read because it kind of keeps okay. that same spirit for the whole thing and it just ends. Okay, you know, I good. like I like good. series that just end. Well, my hero is at that stage and I think where all I don't know what it's hard to know what's happening behind the scenes but mm-hmm. I assume it, it knows it's at that point where it's so marketable yeah. where it's like just keep it fucking oh, going. Drag hard. it on. Oh drag no. The, the heat oh, sink. oh, 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 fuck. Ooh, 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 ooh. holy shit. <laughs> that is really hot. <laughs> okay, hopefully you can. See, I kind of want to touch it too now. <laughs> it's like the heat sink, I think. Oh, that's at, the, nice. at the back? I no, no, it no. On fire, but it like hurts. Yeah, when that's you touch, fine. Like, oh. your elbow um, or, like, have, have you read or watched Hunter Hunter? I watched it. It's fucking amazing. I I love it. I think we had a conversation. It's, oh, it's the, the I, Chimera Ant art I is the it. litmus test. I it is hate very it. You hate it's, it? Wait, did you get to the Chimera Ant art? Yeah. So you got through like 60 fucking episodes? Yeah. 
Fuck, and then it, it felt like it felt like someone else took over the car and just <laughs> veered off the freeway. I fucking and it was, love the Camara and I, I I I really like the Camara. Antar. It's it, part of me is like it's 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 almost like if a the stupider a show is that can still get me like emotionally invested, the better it is. I I just there's so much cool shit that happens in the end yeah. talk, but you have to slog through it. Like it is long. I just I hated how they did it. I think. Yeah. Like I actually almost stopped because it just it felt it felt like a complete deviation like yeah. there was no warning there was no anything it was just yeah. here's something completely different but that's also what i like about hunter hunter they just mixed it up every time it was a new yeah. arc and, and he also, wasn't afraid to try something is there is there a way should we try and contextualize this could you explain the chimera ant arc at all in Fuck. less than so, like a pair 20 paragraphs so, so, okay. so yeah. hunter, hunter hunter is 148 episodes or something i think mm -hmm. and 80 of them or 80 plus yeah. is to this one arc. And uh, the whole point of this arc is that uh, I can't even remember how the ants got their fucking power. It was like there was uh, the, that that island, what did they call it? The, um, I can't, the, it was like unexplored island or whatever. The Dark Continent. Dark uh, Continent. Oh, right? are they from the Dark Continent? I is think that, that was the. Oh. Yeah, so. Well, well, what is Hunter Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is oh, such God. a. Because oh, like God. Hunter Hunter is about. It's because he doesn't even have like We're a. We're talking about ants. So okay, so Hunter Hunter <laughs> is so good. It doesn't even like have like a main yeah, character so, I mean, as well. It's just it's, got a bunch it's, of. It's a world where uh, there is an organization of people called hunters, and there it's this elite organization where you get this card and allows you access to basically oh, like gonna, everything. They were gonna be here all day. And uh, like the, give me, give me the one more. Second. This is so to much. Get hot. the this card. Is you have to pass the exam, and it's very difficult. So all the hunters are I, I, extremely powerful people. Okay, so like That's you talk about My Hero Academia, where you need a, a hero license. This one, you need to get a car. Well, it's, it's kind of like uh, One Punch Man. If you ever watch One Punch I've Man, there's like there's like a hero license. And they, why, they get... why are all these like why is there licenses required and like because so much? It's so dangerous. It's a barrier. It's a barrier to entry. Why that is there allows... so much bureaucracy and all of these? <laughs> it's, it's Japan. It's a... There's so many fucking rules. <laughs> you got to get a license and everything. You, you know when you when you when you buy a bicycle in Japan, you have to register it with the police. Oh, that's cool. Why? It's a fucking bicycle. It's like a hundred bucks. Is it like a theft thing? Or? Uh, yeah, theft plus like if you fucking crash your bike. I don't know if I, okay. know. I don't you know kill fucking... someone. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's Japan. They just like having everything. So stuck in it's just, it's, it's so... Someone get isekai by a so I, 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 <laughs> to, to the viewers who don't know, uh, yeah, I live in Japan and that's that's my, my thing, I guess. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, 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 that's my thing. Point. That's my thing. That's my core. That's my... I'm not like other boys. I don't fucking know. I live in Japan. Yeah, I, I I don't want to fucking sit here and tell people what I. You can just fucking click the link down below. And, watch it. Um, uh, and so living there has kind of made it like it clicked so many things in anime. You're like, oh, that's why. Yeah, it's like this is why. There's so many fucking rules and exams for everything in Japan, yeah. and everything has to go through this uh, bureaucracy, and everything has to be ranked. You can't just have heroes they all have to be ranked oh and God. everyone's worth yeah, has yeah, to be because yeah. they fucking love that they yeah. love putting like a value of how good something is yeah of. yeah because that's what they do when you get your exams in in japan you you pass them you everyone's results gets displayed on a board publicly publicly oh. so you can see how shitty your friends did uh. <laughs> and you you kind of compare and you all get ranked and there's a lot of social rules and and ranks it's and it's like when because when i was there at the airbnbs we stayed in yeah there's like these rules that are like Split the garbage, and if you can't, yeah, just yeah. leave everything. And the, I was looking it up because they're like, "Oh boy, if, if you mess up, because it's like not even just plastic; it's like type of plastic. Yeah, they have to split up, and they're in clear plastic bags. Yeah. So when you put them out, they the know. garbage guy goes around, and if he sees the wrong one, he puts a sticker on it and doesn't take it. Yeah, I've had that. I've had that. Happen. And then so yeah. when the neighbors or people come by, they're like, "Oh, like, oh. he's like not following yeah. the garbage rules." But they, there's a reason why they do it. It's because they don't have like dumps. Mm -hmm. so yeah. They like yeah, if you don't yeah. recycle properly, you're actually like, yeah, um, yeah, it's bad. I kind of love that. I kind of, but it's just like so much shame. Idea. Like you avoid the shape because <sighs> all the neighbors are like. That guy doesn't handle it, It's fucking weird being here and just throwing everything yeah. out. Yeah, just yeah. in the ocean. Here, here we, we, we have the, the double hole trash cans that share a bag. Yeah. Like, it, it feels... You're like, I'm a good person today. And then you like look in there and realize yeah, that it's all just, You're just trying to match the shapes. But yeah, they just go yeah. right into the same. It's it's not that hard when you get used to it. The no, first yeah. the first month or so is like, what the fuck? Because well, they have glass. Then they have like, they literally have like PET. 
than like polypropylene. There's no yeah. public yeah. trash cans in Japan. No. You're expected to take your garbage some, there with There are you. some places. The, the, the strat is that whatever you buy from the convenience store, you just bin at the convenience store. Yeah. Mm. There's always normally a trash can at convenience stores. Mm. But you just get to eat it there. I just eat yeah, the you trash. Yeah. Snack yeah. And coffee, you just <laughs> have to or, eat it really like, quick. When if we go on road trips, we just pile up the trash in the car and then yeah. whenever we get to a 7-Eleven yeah. we just fucking take it all out <laughs> you and, give it all and to we them. just put it all yeah. in because that's what you do I mean like uh, you know I'd... but it's also like it just turns out that's like Tokyo as a city is like it's so clean especially compared oh, to like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's insanely clean I there, remember there's some dirty areas but the few and far between yeah we went yeah. to a park and I think I saw like a single <laughs> cigarette butt <laughs> Actually, in the entire that's park, that's there was right. just like one, <laughs> and like you can, you know that like someone is feeling deep shame. Which yeah. Yeah. somewhere yeah. the fact you think it was like a seagull, like yeah, I think yeah. a seagull stole the cigarette shot. out of someone's we mouth, so flew yeah. with it till yeah. it like burned down to a little. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the like, filter, and then dropped it in the park. <laughs> okay, okay. If they, if they have you been to Osaka? No. So we were in Tokyo and Kyoto. Everything's like yeah. super clean. We go to Osaka, and we were like, we were shocked because we're standing on a bridge, and there's. First of all, you don't eat in public, really. Yeah. There's a guy who had spaghetti. He's a Japanese guy. He's just spaghetti. Eating, he's eating spaghetti, dropping spaghetti. the noodles. Spaghetti. Dropping the noodles on the ground, talking to his friend, while his friend was standing there, shaving his leg. <laughs> just Osaka just, things, just full dude. shaving, and then just shooting the shaving cream. And we're like... and then That's it, weird for Japan, though. That's but I'm just saying, like, we were just like, where are we? We were in like, some like downtown yeah. area of Osaka. Uh, but we were just like, this is... We went from having no garbage and yeah. no eating the to these guys everywhere. just like, it was like dirtier than what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. you, you can eat outside, by the way. That's like a common misconception. Okay. It's just you can. You it's because yeah. people, people just, because people, people don't do it. Just yeah. because they, that's just, I, people, Japanese people don't want to walk and don't. eat. Yeah. Right. And so everyone kind of got this idea of you can't do it. It's a, it's a taboo. It's like, no, no, no. I, I feel like a lot shit. of the food is meant to be super portable, especially like the yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff. It's just that, like, yeah, people just don't do it. So when you do do it, you feel weird. People will, like, they'll look at you. Yeah. You know what I missed the most from when we went? What? The fish jerky, like the salmon jerky. Oh, yeah, you can buy it from the 7 Eleven. Nobody, just, there's yeah. no such thing as fish jerky. I like the little here. rice balls. Mm. Yeah, that's all good. 7 yeah. Eleven Onigiri. Oh, yeah, is like it's not fucking yeah. amazing. You know, the only other 7 Elevens I've been to that like were even close to Japan was Hawaii. Mm-hmm. I've heard Hawaii is the amazing. The Hawaiian 7 Elevens were like. You got the Spam but, but there's yeah. such oh, a yeah, massive yeah. Japanese population in Hawaii, yeah. right? Because yeah. that's their vacation spot. But what do we hear with the turny hot dogs? You don't. <laughs> I don't, you don't know. have that in Japan. I don't think we've ever do, eaten a hot dog. Do you think they come here and here. and go the Seven well, Elevens in America and they're hot they, dogs. they still sell the hot dogs in Japan in the yeah, yeah but I here, they're them. better. I would just assume they were them. better. I, I, the thing with with like restaurants in general, right? It's like you want high turnover. Like you want yeah. food constantly mm. cycling in and out. So the Seven Elevens here do not have that feeling. Oh it, yeah, it genuinely feels like those hot dogs have been on for potentially like half the day. I don't. I wouldn't dare. Go to a Seven Eleven. We should do that as a, food. A, a Patreon extras. Go to Seven Eleven. Oh, Trying gosh. American Seven yeah, Eleven. Yeah, oh yeah. no! Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'd vomit. Wouldn't I? Where's Where's, where's <laughs> the closest Seven Eleven? No, no. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Japan's cool. I Seven Eleven's fun. I like living in Japan. It's chill. It's it's. I, I lived in London before, mm-hmm. and London is nice, but it gets tiring. I don't know. I get bored of London. There's nothing to fucking like. Because I was doing, you know, being a YouTuber, living in London. There's not really much to do. Because in LA, at least, there's everyone's here mm-hmm. and every creator is here in right. london there's like there's no one really yeah. doing anything mm-hmm. there so it's kind of like all it's right kinda like montreal because that's where i'm from yeah right Seven it's, it's like a major city but way. no one's there there are people it's like there's, going there's in that space there's not that much going on yeah and so you kind of feel like why am i here like i'm doing yeah. this job and there's mm-hmm. no purpose for me to be here other than I just happen to be from this place. Yeah. And that, yeah. Every time we complain about like rent and house prices in California, people yeah. start, you know, they do the thing where they're like, well, you could live anywhere else. And it's like, yeah. Because I don't want to fucking live in Oklahoma. Yeah, Who exactly. the fuck wants to live in Oklahoma? Right. Exactly. I don't, I don't no want to live reason. in Oklahoma either. I'm not even sure I've ever been to Oklahoma. I don't know what is that. I'm sorry, Oklahoma. I, I just picked this. <laughs> no, I picked no, the I, state I, from the middle. I, I just, I'm, I'm pretty sorry. sure every person that lives in Oklahoma, who they're you just shaking, talked to, they're, they're, they're like, right yes. Now. Well, I've been yes. to, I've been to Indiana a few times. Yeah. For anime conventions because mm-hmm. I guess so I've been around the Midwest quite a lot and I just I just don't know what why no. why do people live there like, I think Indianapolis that was the most boring town center I'd ever seen it like it's just like <laughs> it's just the shittiest it's easy thing. I think to just sort of stay somewhere yeah. I mean yeah. you you probably have the best perspective um, I mean, I grew up uh, around Illinois, like right in between Chicago and Milwaukee. It's oh, called okay. Gurney is a suburb. Okay. The only thing there was like a Six Flags. Um, <laughs> I will nice. say though, I will say yeah. the one yeah, thing I, is, I, wanna go. I think there was just a lot of like, like Midwestern kind of like, um, 
what, what's the word? Not oppression or just just like like holding back. Basically, the there was an anime convention that used to exist yeah. around Chicago. Doesn't anymore because yeah. it was so fucking nuts. It was called Anime Reactor. Oh wow! And like every year we would go there and it would just be a fucking insane shit show because there'd be like just ambulances coming in what? and out of people like over drinking getting into fights like it was crazy <laughs> yeah. and I think it was just repression I think it was this midwestern mm. repression they just that would just let loose. come out in the form of this awful yeah. anime convention that like changed hands three times because of the lawsuit then finally died but that's why like four years midwestern later. anime cons was so much fun yeah because people were just wild <laughs> why are there just anime cons in it's the like Midwest? so many so I, that I, people I, could let loose yeah I mean it's it, like when a super religious person goes to college yeah. for the first to be fair, time. I will say every anime convention I went to, like the people from the Midwest were by far the nicest. Really? Like, they were always the most patient, always the nicest. Probably there's yeah. nothing going on. They're just excited yeah. for something like new. <laughs> yeah. I, so um, we, because <laughs> LA and like VidCon and all that is like, oh, I, I, I told yeah. you this. I was, I was waiting to get, we were sneaking into the, the VidCon party. Yeah. Because I didn't buy Which any tickets. Uh, the Amazon one. Oh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, I was like, I, I didn't want to buy tickets to go to VidCon, but I was like, yeah. oh, I want to go and check out this party. So I had my friend sneak me in. It was like the and, house um, of blue. As I was waiting yeah. to get sneaked in, this guy who I later saw like three other times at the night trying to network with like fucking everybody, mm -hmm. just the loudest voice talking to this guy, just going, yeah, so like this year is the first year I'm actually relevant. Like the last two years, I've been kind of faking my relevancy. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm just like, that like summed up VidCon. Yeah, yeah, just like, just like, goals, I was yeah. like, this is just everything I thought I thought VidCon yeah. was. Yeah. And this guy literally just walked by and was like a GTA NPC, just said it out loud. Oh that was a really God. good influencer voice, by the way. Oh, thank like, you. Thank I you. Think you. the thank American you. accent really sounded <laughs> It was just like, what? It's almost surreal. Like, people that the guy talk ate. like this. Yeah. Like, people value and talk yeah. about their relevancy to other people. Like, what, what the fuck is this? At, at VidCon, like, I. I I yeah. got it accidentally. I got a badge that said chaperone. <laughs> so, okay. It has, it has like no, I, I have no power with it. But yeah, I, yeah. I wore it yeah. because I don't, I don't know if it worked, but it's like, I feel like if I wore that, like mm. that type of guy, I could, I, he would never talk to me. Yeah. Because yeah, it's yeah. Like I think you, you having a I'm, different badge would make him think you were important, which you're not. Exactly. <laughs> but like with that badge, it's like, I'm chaperoning the person who is important. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, I'm not, I'm like not, I'm so unimportant that I find yeah. that he does like it, it shields you from those type of people. Mm -hmm. That's why okay. I traded. I gave Chelsea my uh, my badge, yeah. Yeah. so I just had like the regular badge. Yeah. And then I think people just look at her and they think that you know because it, 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 it was this weird. People you'll see a lot of like it. eyes darted. Yeah. yeah. And so you'll see like people talking and they're like looking down and they're trying to read <laughs> the trying badge to, really quick. Like, yeah. Should I give a fuck about talking to you? Oh, <laughs> exactly. like, <laughs> it's, it's so painful. I, I love meeting other creators, mm. but that would just felt like the the worst setting to do it. It mm. felt like yeah. it was just a networking event where if you were somebody who was well known you were just a yeah. circus animal yeah but people will come up to you because they because they know you and you know people it was just weird i didn't like it were you in the bar when we were hanging out with mr beast no i, I wasn't there that day that sounded oh like my it god was... i would not trade places with him it was like one of the worst experiences was just getting, like swarmed yeah, it was like yeah, it made me realize that like <laughs> if you think mr beast going out in public would be bad which i, I don't think it's even that bad mm him going out at an event like this is 10 times worse because every everyone knows single, him. Yeah, everybody knows him and they're all trying to like squeeze the Mr. <laughs> Beast. Like, I want to put mm. his face on my thumbnail. But so I think, I think oh, honestly, like, I think how you described it because I wasn't there. Yeah. But like, it's one thing when creators come up to you and they're kind of like, you're in the same realm. It's, right. I, think, I think it's worse when it's the people who are like, in the, they're not creators. They're trying to be like, hey, sign on with me. We can get you good yeah, deals. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. you actually don't even bond with them on a creator level. No. It's like they straight up just see you right. as money signs. <laughs> and yeah. it's like, oh, if we get his name, my boss will be so happy. I get crazy commission on yeah. him. It's like the guy literally does not care about you. Yeah. It was like two times. So like we, we, we started talking and someone like an industry person just immediately just came yeah. up and like interrupted the conversation oh in a way that made me think that Jimmy already knew who this person was. Oh, oh he was that like, like yes. Like and then, but industry, the conversation yeah. was like really weird. And I'm like, I'm doing this thing where I'm like, like do you know, I'm trying to there? figure it out. And then he's looking at me. Cause he, and thinks, then he, he thinks, you know, the guy. No, something. no, no. I think he's just so used to it. And then he oh. does this thing where he like tries to deflect where he's like, Oh, like, do you have any idea who this person is? And he like <laughs> points at me and the guy looks at me and he's like really drunk too. And I'm like, he, oh, he looks worse. at me like, who are you? And I'm like, I'm Mr. Beast. And then he gets really confused because I think he was actually very drunk. 
<laughs> and it, about that point, That's I realized so like Jimmy awkward. had no idea who this guy was, mm-hmm. and he had just sort of like plopped himself oh. there to have some conversation about something. Uh, and then we ended up we like moved to like a little bit more of like a yeah. kind of corner area to try to hide, and it just it like happened again. Like someone came over with an ice. They just they just in. come to the table, completely like interject whatever you guys are talking about. And uh, the lady had like an iced tea, and she was like, "Oh, like Jimmy, I, I, I'm a huge fan of your podcast, uh, the one you did with Joe Rogan. I know you don't drink, so I bought you an iced tea." And she just like hands it to him, and he's like. I'm like, not drinking this. Uh, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to drink it. Yeah. Like, like, what the fuck is wrong with right. you? Right. And it was <laughs> so, un- it's so you, uncomfortable. Yeah, you'd think creators would know how not to, because like, yeah. you would know how you don't want to be treated, yeah. right? But obviously, I said the industry are the worst. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't know and some of them don't care. Yeah, like, industry is yeah. bad. I think just anyone in the, in, like any creators or industries is going to be Because like, you're not going to remember the agent who was an asshole who yeah. came up to you because you're, you're a fucking creator. You're not going to be like, oh, that one guy right. from that one. You're going to be like, oh, for, for, yeah. forget yeah. about him. He went, they got into the exclusive TikTok party. So oh, we, I no, we, well, so I, I had a real wrist. So event. they like, oh. they, yeah, VidCon. Do you missed out on the how much, TikTok how, party? How much, how much shit can we talk about VidCon or is it whatever? We're probably not going to get invited anymore anyways. Um, <laughs> well, you know, you, you're not big on TikTok. I wasn't even invited the first time. I had a community bag. Oh, wait. So I should say all of the nefarious things you did, I was not involved. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Okay. Yo, we stole a bunch of jellyfish for you, Nigel. <laughs> I didn't. I, yeah, I stole a je- I couldn't get the whole oh, just, thing, okay. but I, I took a jellyfish out of it. Wait, I what? gave it to Nigel. You know, I found out you can just buy those on Amazon. Like a oh live. <laughs> no, it was the fake jellyfish from one of the lounges. It was a jellyfish. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the jelly smack display that had these. It was like lava lamps with jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we were trying to steal a whole lamp, but we couldn't do it. So instead, yeah. I unscrewed the no, top. I, I, I asked, <laughs> I grabbed one of the jellyfish out. And it turned out I was the second person to have done that for Nigel. So he had two at that point. I, I asked him for just the last Why did you want the jellyfish so much? I just thought that they were unique, but I thought you could. So the it. jellyfish were in these containers. It was like little yeah. like fake aquariums yeah. that had a water pump and they yeah. filled with water. So like the jellyfish would kind of like sink and then it would and like and then it would like get shoved Absolutely. up. And so you kinda of end up with this cool, like reciprocating. Oh, do you lava have them with you? Oh, you got the oh he's got the jellyfish okay, with that's them. Kinda, that's kinda neat. Yeah, so it's almost oh, like a lot they're, they're, they're in a separate home now. It was like a lava lamp. It was just like William, I I demand yeah. to have a jellyfish. jellyfish? Could you go uh, I the first one was one broke and the jellyfish were all over. Right, the right. So, so someone somebody picked them up. Off the ground, but I actively I went not, in. I, I did not request that. And I unscrewed and the whole time you were pointing yeah, me I'm out like, to I, the jelly yeah. spectacle. You're like you're like Alan, stop messing with the thing. You should have gone in with a hard hat and a high vis vest and started like putting jellyfish. In your pocket. <laughs> we were the only ones there too, and so I unscrewed it and I just reached in and I grabbed the jellyfish and I put it in my pocket. Hell yeah! Nigel. Why not? So, so wait, what was it. this TikTok party then? <laughs> uh, say after you're done so with it's your all, it's all like it's all sort of tied in because VidCon has sort of turned into like a weird like exclusivity event. I didn't fucking know any anyone at those parties. Yeah, so I was like, who? Am I, th- I thought I watched a lot of YouTube. Yeah, and I was like, I don't know. Oh, any you didn't watch yeah. TikTok. That's the yeah, thing, and TikTok I realized first. everyone's a fucking TikToker. Right. It, yeah, and I'm not familiar with TikTok at all. No. Uh, it just seemed like, in general, like the the audience wasn't as well, excited about TikTok as some, generally. Yeah. Something that I realized was, it's the first, um, like the last VidCon, like 2019. Mm. It was like many years of VidCon growing, so it was very YouTube centric. The problem was this one was TikTok run, but TikTok because of COVID has never had one, a major convention. Like I was talking to somebody who talked about, who told mm. me about this. They're like, this is the first real get together of, of there was like- was Playlist in 2019 or the, yeah, the beginning like the, of 2020. It's the first like big one yeah. after like yeah. all these people built their careers on TikTok. So the guy was telling me, he goes, I'm, I do TikTok and I don't, I only know the people who are like in my yeah. little area of that TikTok. Must be so bizarre. But yeah. it's like, I feel like if there were, you know, four more years of TikTok, a major TikTok event, people would start to know each other a lot more. Yeah. Whereas yeah. like they haven't had time to really even develop a oh, that's so Why weird. didn't you get an invite via TikTok though? Because that was kind of like the arrangement I'm assuming is that TikTok sponsors uh, they, the event instead oh, of YouTube. That was the other thing. I, I spoke to somebody who does TikTok and he was telling me, he goes, oh, they don't care about anybody. <laughs> He was just like he was. They don't care. Lovely. What about uh, Charlie Demilio, yeah. De Marshmallow? De Marshmallow. What did you? Did you <laughs> I don't know. I did, didn't. Did ask. you see that uh, video of uh, oh, that girl who had no. the meet and greet? And she had no. like she had like 1.5 million followers on TikTok, and it was a meet and greet. No one showed up. That's my worst nightmare. Oh, I'm God. glad I've never lived but, it. But I, I just can't. 
you have 1.5 million followers and no one shows up. Like what, what does that say about followers on TikTok? Like highly valuable. They, I have, I have a million followers on TikTok and I have never cared. It doesn't matter. <laughs> all, of your, because, all of Alan's wait, followers it right now. I, mean, I, I like, fucking hate every fucking one of you. I, I fucking, if I could Thor hammer you all away, I would fucking do it in a heart. I, I think I have five, shit. five or 600,000 and I don't even know my password. Yeah. <laughs> It's just no one on TikTok in any direction cares. Like if yeah. you have a million followers, if you're one of a million followers, well, you don't if, really care. It, it seems that if you have a YouTube channel, there is like the point of having a TikTok is to kind of promote your YouTube right. channel. So why the fuck would you care? Yeah. Right. It's just there to help boost. I right? think it I personally think it has its place. I think just like it hasn't really matured enough yeah. as a platform. Well you kill it on shorts and TikTok, mm -hmm. right? Because your shorts won't get out of my fucking YouTube record. <laughs> yeah. 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 You just go to uh, not interested or like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, I like them, but it's like every single time it's like I just here today i'm gonna oh my god it's like anytime oh any, anytime oh nigel ever gives any advice to anyone i said you cannot take nigel's advice because he is an anomaly and nothing he your, says your, your content is applicable perfect. i will i will teach you how to turn uh, anything you i i am going to take you up on that someday i will do this shorts. week this week we'll make, do a, short we'll this make week? a short about something mm. okay okay um watch it just bonds it's the worst thing ever <laughs> Ever made. We're get, yeah, we're gonna see if your magic is actually the, the general use. I've watched many of your videos, and I, I normally I would just kind of like I, I had no idea what's fucking happening. I don't think any. That. I've already told them. I don't I, think anyone has. And I just I just I think you have a great speaking voice. Yeah. I just leave it on. It's I like just, it feels like you're in school, but you don't have to pay attention. It's like it's <laughs> it's it's fucking awesome, but I have no idea what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just know? cringing so he, he's hard. Talking, he's, he's talking tried about, so yeah. hard in the past to make no. sure that people know what he's no, doing. No, 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 that no, makes no, like, no. sense for the but audience. No, no, no. But like, I, even if you could literally sit me down and walk me through, I'd be like, yep, yep. And then you finish, I'm like, no, but, I told him. I told him. No, no, I said, no, no, "What makes me feel good watching his videos is like he does this and this, and then the thing is full. It's like full of white powder." And I'm like, "Yeah, he. It's it. It, it did something. It converted. And it was. It was like a lot of yield. Like there's this weird like visual no, no, ASMR. This is, this is what I, when I put the videos together, it takes a really long time to write them. Is what I told you on the car ride over here. I'm like, you have to explain things in a way." That when the person's in the moment, it makes sense. Yeah, in the moment, it makes but sense. But yeah. they have no it's idea. It's like a Transformers movie. It's, 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 it's in the moment. Like, I understand what you're telling me. And I, and but I, when the yeah. video's done, you're like, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's yeah. how they're that's designed. Okay. I, I'm not that's saying that I don't fucking... No, no, I'm saying that that's how you... It's how you... It's how, like, I design it. So in the moment, you're like, oh, yeah, of course, you got to put it in the cup. You got to do this. And then... Mm, yeah. If someone asks you later, like, why do you put it in the cup? It's like, I actually don't know. It's like, when I watched it, it made sense. Yeah. But in hindsight, it doesn't. I can't Yeah, like, the it. methods I don't understand. But I, I, I understand, because of the thumbnail told me, what you're making. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it, no, it's good. Did so you ever, did, the key is completely forgettable content. Did you, wait, I also want to ask, did you ever do, like, voiceover or anything? No, everything you've I do is from, like. He's a really good voiceover mm -hmm. voice. You but I, try, I, like, if you listen to my early videos. <laughs> you trained? No, they're just so bad. Oh, okay. Oh, I've seen some of your recent stuff too, though. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, but that's, this other stuff's worse. Okay. <laughs> I could, you, you, could, you could sell me car insurance, dude. Definitely. Yeah. I can see it. Doing a, I, could, I could hear him reading a Geico ad. I'd buy. That yeah. might be good. Yeah. I don't know if that's good or not. No, that's bad. good. That's You'd good. make a great no, hentai salesman. Because yeah. like, when you hear your voice over and over and over. You get used to it and you well, can play with it. I got kind of too. tired of... Um, <laughs> I got tired of just hearing like when you listen to voiceovers, you hear like your lips smacking. Yeah. Mm. So like when I would speak, I I would like to prevent it. You lift your lips off your like you speak yeah. in a different way to not have those sounds. Nigel, you, have you ever considered uh, voicing a hentai protagonist? Yes. With your well, voice, I, I, I did. Um, I did. <laughs> I was yes. I was doing voiceover before I was actually a YouTuber. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So that was like my whole thing before, and so I kind of just am, am, am like had that involved with YouTube from the start, and that was really useful because. I went into YouTube right away, just knowing how to did, talk. Did you ever mm. do a dub for a hentai? Uh, I know. I really want to though. <laughs> I've, would you, I've would been, you I've, even know? Yeah, you know. You I, I've, okay. I, I get sent <laughs> the. How would he not? Because because I, I I get sent the casting calls still. Mm. Like, like so, it, I I can read for them, but I just okay. a lot of the time like I, if I want to if I'm gonna voice in a hentai, I want to be a fucking great one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, masterpiece. <laughs> actually, my what, my favorite hentai is called Masterpiece. By the way, oh. you, should, you should watch it. You should watch. It's amazing. I haven't animation. seen that one. Should, what makes find it it, can I find it on YouTube? You should watch it. You should watch it. Uh, no, you can't find it on YouTube. <laughs> what about just where you should, should, watch watch it should, yeah, you should all watch wait, it? Do they together. have one of those like is ten a minute uh, condensations of the, the of Masterpiece of like just the robot voice explaining like the mm, recap? Yeah, you should have that. What without yeah, the yeah, yeah. you know the gross porn? Right, right. I want. I just want the cutscenes. Just the story. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I watch. I watch Hentai for the story. For the plot. fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, what was the whole point of this conversation? Oh, the TikTok, right? That was yeah, the whole yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. figured it out. Voice. You figured it out. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's. I can teach it. Don't oh. worry. If anyone oh, that the watches this class? is looking I'll to voice cast it. somebody Nigel for a Hentai, class? Nigel, boy. we will what? connect you Why? to Nigel. I just I would just imagine a science explanation in a hentai well, now. That's I, like, I want to say one thing about the voiceover is because as I did more videos, yeah, I I don't know I just became very conscious of how I pronounce words. So in the videos, I make a point of like never slurring, never yeah, like, and I I sp try to speak at like a very steady. I redo take after yeah, take yeah. to try to make sure like everything's at the same like speed. Yeah, uh, and another like common mistake people do when they do voiceover is that normally when you read your line, because you're reading into it, the first like word you it's say, it's very loud and yeah, fast. Yeah, really loud. So like there's a oh. there's, there's like tricks you can do. Like I before I do voice lines, I'll just say like okay very quickly before I yeah, say I, the line, mm. and then you just cut the okay because mm -hmm. then you the okay kind of that's yeah, such I, a volume. I, that's so, something in editing you learn where it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. every time you do something, it always tapers down, and so it's like yeah. I always have to like keyframe like yeah. and volume and down, volume up, mm -hmm. and it like slowly. Increases. People just don't announce So what I do is yeah. like if I have to, I always say the last half of the previous line. Yeah. So that it leads in. The hardest part That's is smart. when you start a paragraph because you're <laughs> if you say like there is something like th is so like the is so hard. Yeah. You almost always it's just like you're screaming yeah. into the mic. You start running out of air. Actually, I got a good video idea. Yeah. Being able to talk forever, you can like pipe air into your lungs. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sounds dangerous as fuck. And you just keep pushing. I think, don't birds have a continuous breathing Maybe. system it, that they does do? Does it involve the cloaca? Yeah, no, I don't. Birds think, are built different. I, I think it's like it's like a weird like single lung. Why do we have that shitty lungs? Continuous like circular <laughs> like fish. Yeah, they have to be flying to breathe. <laughs> we could probably just put a tube down your throat. And Would that interfere with your vocal cords, though? Probably. So uh, you have to write the scripts as well, yeah. right? Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Because in voiceover, a lot of the time, I don't. You don't see no, the script. No, it's so hard. Like I had to do. Um, I actually technically did voiceover. My cousin. Oh shit! Nice. Was doing something, so he's like, "Do it." It, it was voiceover acting. That's the funniest part yeah. too. Mm. I was. I got the shortest one liners. Yeah. But it was like. I didn't write it. And some of the lines are just like, huh, yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it's hard. I'm like, it's how hard. am I supposed to? And then there's, I, I mean, that was hard. Like when you don't write mm -hmm. it and then you have to like be a character. I was like, that was very different for me. I yeah. would love to like as a Patreon extra or something to try like, like getting footage from anime and just trying to dub it ourselves. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. Right. So it's hard. It's hard. I want to mention, going back to the subs versus dub things. Okay, what's yeah. your answer? Um, I think... Because even okay, here's the here's the one thing I'm gonna explain. Even if you watch subs, you're you're still not understanding what they're actually saying, right? You're still yeah. not getting the yeah. like. Right. You, you're right. still kind yeah. of having to, and even then the subs, even though they're they're technically correct, you still it, you're missing a lot by not knowing the so, language, right? Mm -hmm. So I, it's yeah. it's whatever the fuck you want. If I'm gonna watch it subbed, if I really want the it's ideal true. experience, but you completely, it's completely fair to watch a dub. Like, yeah. why do people act like you're you're bastardizing the show? You're not. Here, here's I my think it theory. It depends on how good the dub. There are, are some really bad dubs. But, I will say wait, sorry, that. So yeah, I can actually. You know. My my theory is suspension of disbelief. Yes, yeah. that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. So like for me, I don't like like English language shows yeah. or movies where they talk about like weird fantasy, sign, yeah. like quantum yeah, reactors. Yeah. That's and fair. This. And like having it separated between text and visuals helps to just create like this this reality. Far yeah. different from your own, because like mm -hmm. the language is different, I think so the fair. science yeah. must be as well. <laughs> no, the way I, physics works is different. Yeah, than yeah. yeah that that's exactly sense. what I was gonna say. Like in, in English, if some guy like starts blabbing about like science, the quantum like, reactor is yeah. overloaded. Yeah. It's yeah. three thousand percent capacity. <laughs> kind of just like, uh, and then, mm. but if it's for whatever reason, it's like books. If you read a book, yeah. like that, it's totally fine. So I find it's like. Kind of like having an actor who clearly doesn't know what the fuck he's saying mm. explain it to you is like oh it's fuck. Just, okay. Whereas like you get yeah it's more suspension of disbelief. That's fair. That's, that's fair. Too. 
Yeah. So right, it also we, depends on like, what you're watching. We got to mm-hmm. wrap up. All right. Uh, thank you very much for this was, this was a so much being fun. a guest and b letting us use your Airbnb. Well, you well, you and let us cameras. use your mic. So I know. <laughs> it's a fair. It's a fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. Well, uh, thank you so much for having me, guys. This is awesome. Should we try to do that for the extra? Try to dub an anime? How quickly can we do that? Because all, right. all what, we need is a just, laptop screen. It could just be really bad. Yeah. Dude, I'll, it's gonna I'll be really one bad. One camera pointed at the an screen, anime. and then mm-hmm. us just I trying can mimic to like keep Japanese up. people. All right, well maybe that's, <laughs> maybe that maybe that's what we do, or maybe not. We'll see you on Patreon. Ooh, oh, yeah, I don't make the rules. I just <laughs> <laughs> then it ends. <laughs> yeah.